interesting the people you meet. Eh, you the kind of. <laughs> Hey, how's it? And welcome to the Hawaii Teamsters. Hey, you the kind, yeah? First of all, I have to mahalo each and every one of you for all your emails. Thank you so much. The response has been overwhelming to our new Solis Ohana Televlog. What is a Televlog? Simple. Televlog is what we air on television and also on my YouTube channel. I need you to subscribe and like the channel. Tony Solis, just one word. But right now, I'd like to introduce to you a food find. What is a food find? Well, it's food that you find, and I showcase right here on the show. Green Emerald City Grapes. Look how huge these are. I can only hit half in my mouth. You can find these bad boys at Safeway. You know, every week I feature food on this show. Well, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different. What I want from you guys is to email me. Facebook, Twitter, just text me. Something that you'd like us to prepare on this show. And even if we don't know how to make it, we're still gonna try. Don't forget, follow me on YouTube, subscribe, and like me, okay? Anyway, on with the show. Here's another Televlog segment of the Solus Ohana. Now you know what's the cool thing about having children that's still like 10 and under? When they see you, they're still like excited to see you. I'm gonna pick up my son Ethan right now, Ethan J. And I want you to see how happy he is to see me. Check this out. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Daddy! Hey boy, see what I mean? Just like a puppy, always happy to see me. How are you? Good. Had a good day, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Today I got corner shape ice. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Where is it? I ate it all. Oh, you didn't buy it for me? Oh, I never had enough money. So I got a Kawabunga, the huge one. I'm going to give you a free plug, all right? Because my son really likes you guys. He gave me $5. Do you know why? $5. But my friend mm -hmm. gave me $1. So I got the... So why did it cost $6? I thought you said it cost $5. No, five dollars for a large, uh -huh. and five um six dollars for the largest. <laughs> okay, so okay. it's five dollars for the large and six dollars for the largest. And so your friend lent you a dollar. Mhm. Mm What's his name? It's a her. What's her name? Kira. Kira, thank you, Kira. Ethan will pay you back tomorrow, right? Did you tell her you're gonna pay her back? No, but I. She said she asked if we can pay her back, and I was like, okay. You gotta pay her back. I know I was anyway. Why are you even borrowing money to begin with? Yes. Uh, you have five, all you spend is five. You don't borrow. He okay, wait, let me let me say this to you out there that are watching. That's how we get wrecked as a, as a family and as a person is when we spend outside of our means. See, if you have $3, you spend only what you have. You don't go borrow another buck. You don't borrow another 100,000. You don't borrow another penny. You spend within your means. That way you won't wreck yourself, you won't wreck your family. I've seen a lot of families that have been wrecked because they continually want a better lifestyle and they borrow money and so they have nice cars, they have a nice house. But you know what? They're living to pay off debt. They're living just to pay that off. Man, you gotta be very humble and live a lifestyle that's just, that's just right for you. Now listen, I don't want you to borrow any more money. You understand? A large was good. You didn't need the largest, largest, okay? You know Popeyes? They actually have like curry bowls. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, hi, could I get a, a ripping chicken? You want the combo? Uh, yeah, the combo. So, kind of side entry. Uh, Sprite and um, a side. What do you want for your side, Ethan? Okay, we'll have french fries, Cajun rice. Sure. Anything else today? The the beer can combo with Cajun fries, uh, uh, Sprite. Sprite, and then you wanted a large Cajun rice on the side. Yeah. It, there you go. Thank you. You know, I have to say that of the chicken, the chicken wars, Ethan, mm -hmm. Popeyes is my favorite chicken right now. Uh, what's in Milani? Thanks. Sprite. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is this everything? All right, yes. Yeah, I can get the kind, butter and honey. All right, man, thanks. Uh. Are you that Filipino comedian? <laughs> Well, he's right about being Filipino. All the way. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I am interrupting programming, but I had to tell you something because recently I just found gold. Are you with me? Are you with me? 
Spam! Spam snacks! Snacks! Big shout out going out to Foodland. Man, you guys are awesome. <laughs> First time I've ever seen this. Back to your regular programming. We just had to drop off Zoe uh, just now. Pharmacy. The pharmacy. I mean, no. Uh, orthodontic. Yeah, no, no. it's orthodontic. Um, orthopedic. Orthopedist, yes. No, that's not easy. Orthodontist is teeth, Ethan, your no. mouth. Yes, orthodontist is teeth. That's where you went for your teeth. Um, we took Zoe to her orthopedist because of her knee. She has a, a bad knee, it buckles yeah. on her. And the reason being is because, you know, she's in a very high intense sport that is susceptible to a lot of injuries. She's a, a cheerleader. This is like serious triple backflips. I'm gonna throw you three stories high in the air and you're gonna do like triple somersault. Backflip? Backflips, it's not anything like you think cheerleading might be like I used to think. It was like pom poms, hip hoorah, you went to kick boom. No, I didn't go to. Oh. No, mind him. Okay, um, what's gonna happen is we're here at Long's. Now, Daddy didn't bring his. Daddy's barefoot. You know, you just leave the house. You don't. You know, you just gonna pick up the kids, right? You're not. You know, you're not dressing up. What I want you to do: go to the pharmacy. Say, I'm dropping this off for my dad. When it's ready, and you text him, he'll come and pick this up. Okay. okay. So I want you to talk to strangers, in out. Just okay. Say. I'm dropping this off for my dad, uh -huh. and he said, um, text him. Yeah. And he said, text him. You say, call me when it's ready, and I'll pick and, it up. Okay. Okay. Call straight and straight out. Now, he's off and running into the store. This is the first time I've ever sent him to do something like this. I don't know, I feel a little bit nervous about it. He's just dropping off, it should be fine. I'm kind of that overprotective parent. Um, you know, th things have changed. When I was your, you know, age, their age, you know, my daughter's age, 14 years old, we got bus, we walked, you know, from, like, I live in Mililani, we went to school in Wheeler, you know, after school, we'd walk home. That's what, three miles only, but, you know, I mean, we'd do stuff like that. You know, we play outside. When the lights came on on the street, that's when we knew we had to book it home. Our parents didn't have cell phones, but they still communicated very effectively with us. And I'll say it, you know, back in the day, parents, they could give their kids a good whooping. Gee, thanks, Uncle Bill. You know, because they deserved it, like they still do today. But today, you hit your kid out of love, of course. You know, when I say hit, I mean out of love. You're giving your kid spanking because you love them. It makes a point sometimes to give them papa. But today, you do that, you go prison. You just touch your kid, and your kid calls foul. You're going to jail, man. That's all there is to it. My kids I know are watching. Don't get any ideas. And plus, you know, it's also biblical to give your kids you know, the old one too. All right, here he comes. Let's see how good he did. Let's see, what is he turning around for? What are you doing? Hi, Dad. Hey, oh. how'd he go? Good. Hey, you the kind of. <laughs> yeah, yes, okay, that's exactly it. Okay, well, we're in Milani, we're leaving now. Thank you, bye. We're ordering food. I mean, it was like she didn't know her menu. And that's like, you work there. I don't know why that irritates me. So we're on our way right now to pick up Zoe from her orthopedics doctor. Well, not doctor, I guess. Orthopedist is what they call him, right? Orthopedist? Physical therapist. PT. Well, yeah. They're called orthopedist, right? No, physical therapist. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but their orthopedist is not wrong. Is it wrong? I don't, I've never heard of an orthopedist before. You've never needed one, that's why. But anyway, we're gonna go pick up food at Nagoya Ramen. I kid you not, the Japanese food over there is really good. Man, their, their, their fried rice, in my opinion, is like the best fried rice in Mililani. Do you believe it's the best fried rice in Mililani though? No. I don't know, they taste the same as the other No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah I don't think, Chinese. I don't think. I don't think you got it right there, buddy. You eat for a living, but I eat as a hobby, so. They make the best fried rice in Mililani. In fact, you know, it's like the best fried rice. It's, it's the, by the way, it's the pork fried rice, okay? It's like the best fried rice I've eaten anywhere in a long time. Better fried rice maybe I've eaten were at like fried rice that I made on my own. And they make this garlic, fried chicken. I mean, a lot of garlic and spices inside. Is that like one of the best chickens you've had? I like Phuket Thai's chicken. Phuket Thai is known Phuket for their... Phu. That's what I said, Phuket Thai. Phu. There's a P and an H, right? In Thailand, it's not called... Well, then why do they call P-H-O 
Why did he go f? That's Vietnamese. Well, duh. Now, are you sure? Positive. Now, Phuket Thai. Phuket Thai. Okay, now, but Phuket Thai. Phuket Thai. And your Micah is saying Phuket Thai. Phuket In thai. Thailand, it's the Phuket city thai. is not called Phuket, it's called Phuket. Okay, so what you're saying is it's not pronounced Phuket Thai, like P H U K E T, but it's Phuket Thai. Yes. Hmm, you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could be right. Well, we'll find out though. We're gonna call them up and find out. They don't know. Micah, they work there. What do you mean they don't know? Look at all the people who work at Yeah, Nicole, I know. Yeah. yeah, you got a point there. And but okay, but you know what? Look at the people who work. They have a better chance at knowing, right? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna call. Hello? I'm done. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. Is the person you're seeing called an orthopedist? No, it's not. What are they called? They're called a physical, physical therapist. A physical therapist? She, Ask. She, she told me to go to an orthopedic. Oh, so she told you to see an orthopedist. Yeah, today okay. she just told me to go to an orthopedist. So you're seeing a physical therapist who has advised you to go see an orthopedist for your knee? Yes. Okay. Bye. Right. Okay. So that's what uh, that's what it is. We gotta go get her an orthopedist now. We're calling the place now. Hi, you can tell me Hi, I got a question for you. Yes. How do you guys pronounce the name of your restaurant? Okay, so no more that PH sound. I don't believe so. That's how I've been saying it. No one's corrected me. <laughs> okay, now, is it a Vietnamese restaurant? It's Thai food. Okay, is there, there's a difference then, yeah? Yeah. Alright, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I'm sorry. It sucks to be wrong, though. So it's Phuket Thai. Phuket Thai. Okay, so the PH, I can understand. Thailand? That. Thai food? Thai. Thai. Oh, all right. It just die. Mike Tyson. I'm gonna get the food. He's such a punk, man. I hate being wrong to that kid. It's my favorite store right there, guys. Nagoya Ramen, guys. This little hole in the wall in Midilani. Hey, remember this place? Here comes Micah. Ooh, I can smell it already. Yeah. Let's take a look at what we have. Hey guys, I, I, want, I, want, I want to shoot it right now because it's hot. Okay, this is the mini chicken katsu curry. The kids, they always like this. My kids like this. This, yeah, the gyoza. Oh, the gyoza is fantastic here. This is their mac salad, which is always good because they put a lot of mayonnaise. But, oh, oh, this is the one, guys. Oh, this is the one. This right here is their pork fried rice, and this is their um, spicy fried garlic chicken wings. Oh, man. You haven't lived till you eat this, okay? Now, I'm not exaggerating. This right there is amazing. I told you, this is like the best fried rice I've eaten at any place, not only in Mililani, but I mean, it looks, it looks plain, right? But man, it is fantastically flavorful. The pork is seasoned. I mean, each little piece of pork within the fried rice, you can taste uh, the difference. Hi. What's up? She said, rest it. I said, for a week, I'll rest it. I'll see how it feels. And then she said, but Zoe, if it doesn't get better, I think what's best for you is to have surgery. Surgery? She said, it's better to get that so it just fully heals. But if I keep going and it hurts, I could be out for like, Done. So she was feeling my knee and she said it's swollen. My meniscus is swollen. Your, ma your what? My meniscus. Meniscus. Swo yes, my meniscus is swollen. So she tried pulling down instead of last week, the lady tried pushing it in. But this time, the other lady tried pulling it down. So my knee has, my meniscus has room to fit into the socket. Where it belongs. So we're Does it hurt now? She put ice on it so it's numb. Anyway, we we're talking about mm. it and she said you should rest. 
I said, okay, so we negotiated like a week. Negotiated? Why? Negotiated. She said you do something and you disagreed and you came back with a counter? Yes. I'll take a break for a week and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so you know what? You got to take a break from uh, cheer. No, no. We negotiated a week. I'm resting my knee from tumbling and conditioning. That's totally different from and not going to practice. So you're not going to go practice, right? I am going to practice because I still need to stunt. But I told her that it puts no what pressure is stunt? on me. What is but stunt? I put the girls in the air. Zoe, that puts pressure on your knee. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it, mm, you don't know what my knee it feels like, Dad. Yeah, I know, but you're not supposed to put any no, pressure on No, but you don't know what my limits are. And she How said, can you oh, not feel any pressure Because I don't. I just think everybody's overreacting about this, and my knee's perfect. And you're the one, Zoe, who I'm wanted to go one. to. No, I didn't. Yeah, want to no. Go to physical therapy. Don't even act. You're like, mom, you gotta schedule me an appointment. No, I didn't. Mom, she, did. I told mom once the lady, once the doctor told me, I said, is that really needed? So and she said, I went through a whole season of judo with a broken toe. Okay. And with your toe. My ankle was all bust up. You didn't see me. <sighs> you didn't see him crying. No, dad, you don't know. In the middle of the night, you hear his. You hear his cry. What? Yeah, you don't hear his crying in the middle of the night. He's Michael like, cries in the middle of the night? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Michael, are you serious? No. Zoe, this is what I know. Oh, well, I can still stunt. You know, I the, can. The, you shouldn't. You shouldn't stunt. You yeah, shouldn't she said stunt. It's fine. She said it's fine. She doesn't understand you're what. You're not the doctor. She's not a doctor. You're not a Yes, she, she's, she's a physical a, okay, therapist. Okay, well, you're not the physical therapist. And she said that she would rather you not to put any kind of pressure on your Which knee. Which I... Uh, you're not hey. even a cheerleader. You wouldn't know. Listen to me. You're taking a break. No cheering. No stunting. No. She didn't say that. Oh, she I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, no, no That's stunting. So unfair. No, you need to rest. You with me, M-Dog? Oh my God. Be quiet. M-Dog. M-Dog is on my side. I want to show you what M Dog did to the car. Why would you? I want to show you what M Dog you know, did Michael, to the car. You know, Michael, it gets irritating. Yeah, this is. <laughs> you know, it sucks when he calls you. This is his car, anything. okay? And look what happened, okay? This is this is a result of him from a parked position. It raining. The rain got in his way, and he pressed on the gas, and he bangs a pole. That's not the story. It, that, okay, what's your story? Pulling out of the driveway. Uh -huh. I'm rolling down my windows because my AC doesn't work and the windows are fogging up already So when I roll down the windows and I make the turn the shocks in the car are bad So the water the car leans to one side So the water came down onto the driver's side and started going into the car and my phone was in this cup holder over here And the water started getting on my phone and it was brand new at the time So I was trying to save it and I wasn't paying attention and I hit the pole as I was turning out of the driveway. You should have seen the pole. Look at this, okay? The damage he did with the car doesn't match up with how he drove. Okay, Michael says that they're going 10 miles an hour. Now look how fast this is with me not pushing on the gas, just letting it go, okay? Mind you, he was in a dead end street. That's about five miles an hour. Look at that. Okay, now you're going on a slope. I was going downhill. The miles per hour doesn't change. I was going downhill. You could hit me at three miles an hour going downhill or three miles an hour going uphill. It's still three miles an hour. No. That story that you said doesn't work. What would work, what would work for you? That's a good question. That is probably maybe one of your better questions that you've ever asked me. What would be good with me, Micah, is this. That you wasn't paying attention and you banged the pole. That's what I said from the beginning. When I <laughs> called you and I said, when I told you what happened and you're like, how did it happen? I said, I wasn't paying attention. And then you said, how did I get distracted? This will never happen to me because I'm going to uh, get See, don't, don't, don't Shut even, mouth, don't even say that. Don't even say it won't happen to you. Okay. There's stuff already that happens that you're not being straight up about. Even like the guy situation. <sighs> hey, no, no, no. Don't go. Get over here. You got to control yourself. I need to tell you guys about the birds and the bees. You don't okay, even know listen. the story of the birds know. and the bees. Do you know what my dad told yes. me the birds and the bee was? It said the sword fighting. And I that's not even the story. It's about pollution. Pollution. Pollinating. <laughs> the bird and the bird don't belong together. And the bee and the bee don't belong together because the bees are just going to be sword fighting. Okay. That's what dad told me.
the kind <laughs> I want you to look directly into the camera lens, Zoe. Look in the camera lens. Okay? I'm going to ask you to think of a number between 1 and 7. You got it? Got it. Got it. Is your number 3? No. Is your number 1? No. Is your number 2? No. Is your number 4? Yes. See? What you mean, see? What you doing? Oh! <laughs> What's the ugliest dagger? You know what? Oh, it's like, oh, ow! Ow! Oh, look at this gnarly thing on my knee. Look at it. Oh, shoot! It's like a sad thing. Uh -huh. I can't do that. Locked. Contact. Mom! Flinch. I did four! That's four oh, hits. You get the four hits. Oh, what the F? Oh, he's so Nails. She unplugged my phone. And she's... What the heck is that? I said not to unplug it, okay? Okay, otter. <laughs> Your hair looks like what? an otter. You look like a beaver. <laughs> oh, you flinch. Hey, I owe you already. No, you don't. You do? you 510. Yeah, you flinched. But you... <laughs> you see, I didn't flinch. Oh, uh, contact. Oh, your mom's your mom's awake oh, now. He just awakened the beast. Ethan, sing a song. Ten seconds. Ready, go. Silent night. Oh, so I like that one. Holy no! Stop! Huh? Stupid! No! Huh? 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 Oh, good night. Finally, we're alone.